The life the Yazidis knew has gone. The people in the camps are survivors of an attempted genocide. It took many forms. Mass executions, forced conversions and slavery, a term used quite openly by the so-called Islamic State. Thousands of women and girls are still being used as sex slaves. Ours was 15 when she was bought by a 60-year-old man. He bound her hands and he raped her. This is our religion, he said. I begged him to stop. I told him, you are now like a father to me. Please don't touch me. I said, for your wife, for your children, for the sake of your God, don't do this. He said, no, this is what God wants me to do. What happened to the Yazidis explains the fate of the American hostage, Kayla Muller. She went to Syria as an aid worker and ended up in ISIS captivity. The American authorities got intelligence that Kayla had been moved out of prison. They were told by Yazidi girls and women who'd escaped from ISIS that she was now staying with the family. That phrase sounds rather benign, but what had really happened was much more complicated and far more grotesque. The man calling himself Caliph of the Islamic State took Kayla as a trophy. Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi made her his sex slave. Two Yazidi girls were held in the same house. They describe Kayla's ordeal, raped many times by the ISIS leader. Kayla would be taken to another room for Baghdadi. When she came back, sometimes she just lay down without saying a word. Sometimes she would cry under a blanket. She tried to hide that from us. She didn't want to upset us. She wanted to seem strong. She did everything Baghdadi wanted. She was too afraid to beg. He told Kayla, if you refuse, I will behead you. He gave Kayla a Quran. He taught her about Islam every day. I asked Kayla to run away with me and she said, no. They will behead me. Kayla was like a sister or a mother to us. When we wept, she tried to make us feel safe. She would always tell us, you will get home to your parents one day. I will never forget her and what she did for us. There's another witness. Amsha was a sex slave for the ISIS number two. She remembers him laughing at news reports that Kayla was killed in a coalition airstrike. He told me they killed Kayla because she was an American. Obama could stop the Syrian regime bombing us, he said. Ten of our women and children die every day. This is our revenge. Kayla was one victim of a vast crime. Every family in this camp has left people behind, some killed, some held in slavery. ISIS has yet to be called to account. Paul Wood, BBC News, Northern Iraq.